born and bred in Kabecha, Mtutuzeli Ben Nomoi was affectionately known as Braben. The Isitosa language was close to his heart. He produced over 20 films, which include Inke Dama and Unolike, both written in Isitosa. His family believes this honor was long overdue. I believe that it was long overdue. I believe that it was long overdue because the subject person has been in the business um, for many years and uh, the, the same playhouse in uh, Playhouse Theatre in, <clears throat> in Kabecha. In 2016, um, they celebrated his 50th anniversary in, fi in filmmaking. Not 50 years old, but 50th anniversary in filmmaking. So it was long overdue and uh, we were happy for the, for the recognition. One of his ideals was to impart his knowledge of the industry to young people. When I met Uwu Braben, he took me to the next level in the filmmaking. Obviously, you know the background of Eastern Cape and films. There isn't much of activity that is happening. You'd get one, two, three in a long time. But immediately when he came into the Eastern Cape and then we started working together, we started doing uh, interesting documentaries. He was also known for his strong stance on the transformation of the arts industry was quite staunched in uh, his views in terms of that us as, as, as the makers, us as the creatives, us as, um, you know, the artists would need to be proactive in a sense and, and not um, rely on, 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 you know, hand, handouts and, uh, uh, you know, incentives in a way. And I would say that um, we had traveled at some point to, to Nigeria in Lagos on a trade mission. And uh, the method and the style and uh, how, um, you know, creating their stories from their own perspectives in their own languages uh, was really a method that he wanted us to really duplicate. The Eastern Cape government says it will keep his legacy shining for generations to come. Even though it's posthumously, but we are very proud of, him, of his work and contribution. During his time, he promoted the language Isikosa in the production of the film and the, the culture in the place and films that he did of Ingedama and Onolike. He will never be forgotten for that work. No more he met his untimely death in 2016 at the age of 77. After a short illness, he will be honored along with fellow filmmaker Fundi Vundla, who is the founder of the Soapies Generations and Generations the Legacy. Abungile Yankees, SABC News, East London.